Gdje je su? Ajde, pakuj ovo. This kitten was found in a really bad shape and we have been uh, fighting for him for almost 10 days now and he will probably stay, stay blind but that's the last thing we worry about right now because he might not even survive. So Tiana, what do we have here? Uh, this is Ben and he was found when he was uh, two months old and he mm -hmm. had uh, injured uh, leg mm -hmm. and there was nothing we could do so uh, now he only has three legs. Yeah, it's amputated, yeah. Yes, well there are too many dogs who get abandoned in the streets and we are not able to, to help them all but uh, we try to help at least the ones that are uh, the most... Uh, the most severely injured. Yes. Okay, waiting for the new home. Of course. Hi, I'm Miloš from Serbia, a beautiful country in southeastern Europe. I'm the founder of BETA, which is the leading organization for animal welfare in Serbia. We have various branches all over the country and we are a volunteer-run organization which does everything in its power to help this cause. Hi, I'm Tiana and I'm the branch head of uh, Bet Knjaževac, a city in eastern Serbia. Hi, I'm Roja and I volunteer for Beta all over Serbia. Uh, we were introduced to Crowd Discover by Miss Slajana uh, to get in touch with Mr. Mike. Hi, I'm a social entrepreneur and the director of Tesla Learning Center. Hi, I'm Mike, CEO and founder of Crowd Discover. We have joined forces with BETA to support this campaign and we would highly appreciate everyone in the world who is watching this video to share and support this campaign and understand the gravity of this cause and the consequences it may have. I have been working closely with BETA for a long period, since their establishment. They are a great organization, full of enthusiastic animal lovers, who do their work entirely on a volunteer basis. So far, we have had good results in regards to rescuing abandoned animals and their spay and neutering. Members of BETA also have a huge educational impact on the society. It is usually really difficult to explain to the people in Serbia that spay and neutering are one of the best and the most effective methods of keeping a low number of stray animals and all the problems that arise with it. In this particular situation, one of the biggest issues is, of course, funding. No matter how big discounts we provide to help solving the problem, it gets very problematic to involve local authorities to find a solution. It's also a big problem to explain this even to them, that these methods will surely solve the situation of abandoned animals. Of course, these methods are humane and in accordance with the animal welfare laws. Because of the previously said facts, we must seek further funding for available projects and finding alternative financial sources for our cause to help animal welfare in Serbia.